Hello, I'm Michael Ruffini from the TeacherCast Academy, and today's topic is on a very popular technology tool, coding. We all know the future of our world is digital. Kids are growing up in a very different world than that of their parents. Smartphones, iPads, tablets, YouTube, Netflix, and Facebook are embedded in their daily lives. Even most toys are digital, and many are programmable, such as Legos. It is one thing to know how to use these technologies. It's another, however, to understand the logic behind them. Learning to code prepares kids for the world we live in today. There are tons of jobs and occupations that use code directly, like web designers, software and game developers, and robotics engineers. Chances are high that computer science literacy will be increasingly relevant for jobs of the future. Many educators suggest that the ability to read and write code may be a fundamental 21st century competency. However, embracing coding as a pathway to jobs, such as computer programming, is not the only reason to learn why to code. Learning to code is like learning how to speak and write in a particular language, a computer's language. In schools, we teach writing to all of our students because it is a way to communicate with others by organizing thoughts and expressing ideas. Yet few of them go on to pursue professional careers in writing, for example, a journalist or novelist. The same analogy applies to coding. Having students learn coding, whether basic or advanced, is just another medium for communicating, organizing, and expressing ideas. Just because a student learns to code does not mean they will pursue a professional career as a computer programmer. When students learn to read and write code, they develop cognitive skills and learn a methodical problem-solving process that resembles a computer. Students develop computational thinking skills, which teach students to process information like a computer would. Computational thinking allows us to take a complex problem, understand what the problem is, and develop possible solutions. Computational thinking can be applied to other situations aside from coding, as it is a way of thinking that solves practical problems. There are four cornerstones to computational thinking. Decomposition, breaking down a complex problem or system into smaller, more manageable parts. Pattern recognition, looking for similarities among and within problems. Abstraction, focusing on the important information only, ignoring irrelevant detail. Algorithms, developing a step-by-step -step solution to the problem or the rules to follow to solve the problem. Each one of the cornerstones is equally important. They are like legs on a table. If one leg is missing, the table will probably collapse. Correctly applying all four of these essential techniques will serve as a framework for coding and other problem-solving tasks. There are many free websites that provide coding programs for kids. Some popular programs that use a snapping block system include Stencil, Tinker, and Scratch, to mention a few. For example, Scratch was designed by MIT students. It is an easy-to-use programming language, but it's more than just a coding site. It's a vibrant online community of young programmers who swap out different ideas of how to code a variety of tasks and create and share stories, games, and animations with people all over the world. Here is an example of an animation I created in a few minutes using Scratch. Thank you.
Helping our students understand how technology works using coding is an important technology tool that can be added to the educational curriculum. At best, it could get students interested in a technology or science career. At the least, coding will help them understand how technology works and have fun doing it. This is Michael Ruffini from the TeacherCast Academy.